Nation, it is Monday. I hope you're having a good one. And the question is, have you heard? Your answer to that would be yes, if you heard about fellow YouTubers Wong Fu Productions recently coming under fire. Reason being is for some reason, the trio thought for their first venture into making feature films, they would take the nostalgic franchise that is Saved by the Bell and turn it into a movie. And that begs the question, what's the big fuss? You really couldn't make Saved by the Bell any worse after its spinoffs. Well, they're casting all the leads with Asian Americans. Look, I don't know what the whole uproar is all about. Recasting happens all the time in Hollywood. Do you remember that one movie, um, 21, that came out a few years ago? That was supposed to be about a group of mostly Asian American MIT students. And they only casted two Asians as supporting roles. And that was based on a true story. At least Saved by the Bell's fictional. We're just doing the same thing 21 did, just, you know, the other way around. Do <laughs> Do I feel guilty about misrepresenting my culture? I mean, did my boy M. Knight feel guilty about doing The Last Airbender? No, no, because he's not a cartoon. Saved by the Bell is about high school students. Who cares if Zach Morris is white? Hey, newsflash, he wasn't. Mark Paul Gosler, who played Zach Morris, is actually part Indonesian. Zach Morris has been Asian this whole time. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding this project, so I'm trying to keep a low profile. But I'm very excited to be financing this film. I was a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, so I was delighted when they casted that guy for the main role. I was like, finally, the most honest representation for a clearly Asian male. How is that honest? The fact that the studio was trying to pass this guy for Goku just made it incredibly obvious what their motives were. Americans remake Asian films and stories all the time for the American market, which just means that they cast white people. I mean, come on. I mean, yes, we, yes, we want U.S. distribution, but but we also want distribution in China. All right. So that that is the question. Do they care that the original characters from Saved by the Bell were white? No. No. I mean, see, the, the Americans didn't care that the Departed's cast was all originally Asian. No. Nobody cares. There are over a billion Asian people on that side of the planet. A billion! Cha-ching! That is the name of our distributor. Alright? Cha-ching! 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 Ting 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 That wasn't meant to be racist. That was just the sound of money with my mouth. Our cast is what's really going to make people forget about this whole controversy. First, we have Ryan Higa playing Zach Morris. Score! And then, we have Dietrich playing AC Slater which is perfect for casting because his adopted dad is Hispanic, and Slayer's character is implied to be Hispanic also. But aren't you worried he isn't actually Hispanic? The main character in Argo, Tony Mendez, he's Latino. Ben Affleck is not. But Ben played Tony Mendez, and Ben won an Oscar. Ask me again if I'm worried. I loved the show. I used to watch it all the time as a kid. And then I found out that they were uh, casting all Asian American actors for all of these white roles. Okay, how do we do this respectfully? Then we saw Cloud Atlas and all they did was just tape down their eyes to make them look a little smaller. So we were like, okay, great, anything goes. Uh, we watched Prince of Persia. They just gave Jake Gyllenhaal a spray tan and then he was suddenly Middle Eastern. So, you know, we're just gonna do the same thing. But, uh, but opposite, so. Yeah. Hold them open. Yeah. Oh my god, that's... that's what perfect. a change, right? I am very excited about this film. You know, it's actually inspired our company to team up with Tyler Perry for a remake of Lord of the Rings. You know, for our main demographic. You're late. A wizard is never late. Frodo Baggins. Yeah, that was a black hand on. Oh, we going there. Did you have a problem with that? I, I really think that once people see the final film, they'll realize there's nothing to be upset about. Sure, we put together a predominantly Asian cast, but hey, we kept Lisa black. Oh, really? How come? Because you, you don't mess with the African-American community. Everyone knows that. Wait, they didn't recast Lisa, right? Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man, that's cool. The diehard fans behind the show are gonna see we stay true to everything about the original source material. E except the ethnicities. But, but what else, you know? No big deal. Can I get a sip of my drink? Yeah, of course. 
Can you see me? Yeah. Mark Paul Gosler, who played Zach Morris, is actually part Indonesian. What? Indonesian. <laughs> In Indonesian. Which is actually Native American and Indonesian combined. Indonesian. Alright, I'll be up there in a minute. No, just start without me. Just all you have to do is call action. No, because he's not a cartoon. Alright, that and he got paid a boatload of money for that. Like literally, he made a boat out of money and then sailed off on it. Ugh, oh, when I found that out, I said, this has to be made. We gotta do this tomorrow. So we shot it in a day. For a remake of Lord of the Rings, you know, for our main demographic. For, for black people, yes. I can say that, right? African American. That's awesome. How do you do that? Say, I'm Zach Morris. I'm Zach Morris. <laughs> yeah. I'm Zach Morris. You're Zach Morris now. <sighs> Thank you. You can get any part you want. <laughs> oh. Can you see me now? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!